In this video, we examine presheaves on monoids, which we recall are simply one object categories. These presheaf categories are equivalent to categories of right actions on a set by a monoid. In each case, since the category has only one object, there is only one kind of figure for each container. The monoid operations then inform the type of coercivity or variability that exists between the figures. First, let's look at how to interpret presheaves on finitely generated free monoids as containers. The first example is for the trivial monoid generated by the empty category, which has one identity morphism, and so this category is equivalent to the category of sets. We interpret a container X as a box of dots where there is no cohesion whatsoever. Second, if E is the monoid generated by one non-identity morphism, sigma, in other words, E is the additive monoid of natural numbers, we obtain the category of evolving sets, or N sets, as the category of presheaves on E. So if X is a presheaf on E, we interpret its container as containing a set of figures equipped with a process which assigns a next stage for each element. For example, if A is a figure in X, then sigma acting on A produces a subsequent figure B. For the third example, set E2 to be the category freely generated by two non-identity morphisms. The category of presheaves in this case we call the category of two evolving sets. So if X is a container of two evolving sets, each figure has two different processes which produce the next stage. For example, if A is a figure, there is a sigma 1 process producing a figure B and a sigma 2 process producing a figure C. Note that examples 1 through 3 can be generalized to a category EN, which is freely generated by N non-identity morphisms. Then a container of EN sets would have figures which have N different processes producing subsequent figures. Next we turn to finitely generated monoids. In other words, finitely free monoids modulo a set of relations. So our fourth example is the category E1R with one object generated by a non-identity morphism sigma subject to the relation that sigma squared is the identity. Or in other words, it is the monoid N over 2N. The category of presheaves on E1R will be called the category of involution sets, and that's because for a container X, which has a set of figures, a sigma 1 process is invertible by itself. So, for example, if applying sigma to a figure A produces a figure B, then applying sigma to B must get us back to A. When E1R is generated by one non-identity morphism sigma such that sigma cubed is the identity, we obtain containers which have three cycles. We set E2R to be the category generated by two non-identity morphisms, sigma 1 and sigma 2, such that sigma 2 is the inverse of sigma 1. In other words, E2R is the monoid of additive integers. So a container X will have a sigma 1 process, which is inverted by a sigma 2 process. We can generalize this to any presentation of a monoid M given on N generators and a set R of relations. In particular, Cayley graphs for a monoid or a group can be modeled in a category of presheaves on the category ENR.